Uh, dozens of Malawians have been arrested in Israel, fellas, by the Population and Immigration Authority for abandoning their farm work in southern Israel to seek jobs in the city. What's up, everybody? Batova Modimu. I hope you're doing good. Beautiful evening. Thank you very much for stopping by. My name is Zach. I don't know who you are, but certainly we're going to like each other if you watch this video. Okay, let's go. So we are in Malawi. Here's Malawi. Here's a map. Beautiful place, beautiful people, but something happened. Now, we know right now that a bunch of Malawians, about 45 Malawian citizens, these are young men, have been arrested in Israel and they are in jail. Because Malawians went to Israel last year. We spoke about this a few months. I'm sure you can check this video right here. You're going to put a link. Go just find it. Last year, 221 Malawians departed for Israel to work as farm laborers. Do you remember? Yes. In a labor export deal signed between the two countries. So Israel signed a contract with Malawi in sending young men to go work as laborer in farms and many people were very very angry about that the malawian government received 60 million dollars for that and they said this is good for the economy it's a good opportunity good for forex you know goods for the people and also an opportunity for the young people to go and that was exactly when the war started in israel and many people were not happy about that many people ask questions like who sent his children to a country at war so, 45 Malawian workers faced deportation from Israel for fleeing their workstation in the farms. The goal was to go to Israel to work in the farms. So, work in the farms, take care of animals, you know, remove animal shit, remove dirt on the ground, you know, yeah, not, not, not the most glamorous job. So, let's try to understand the situation of these people. Malawi Society Israel President Austin Chipeta gave some explanation. He said the 45 people arrested by immigration officers in the early hours happened after they received a tip-off that the compound the group residing in was keeping deserters. He said the group which had fled Achava and Lion Farms is being kept in a maximum security prison in South Tel Aviv. Fellas, why would you leave your country to go go in jail just for free in another country? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Because they say they're running away from farms looking for better opportunities in the city, in the industry. This man, Austin Chipeta, explains. He says that the main reason that they have been abandoning their work is that most farmers are not respecting contractual obligations. A race of uh, these uh, young Malawians um, has come in. Why? Because they abandoned their uh, work where they were supposed to be working. In, if, in, in, in fact, the visas did until that uh, they have to be working in farms oh that's interesting i thought only africans did not respect contractual obligation i mean not all africans anyway let, let, <laughs> let's continue this is weird for example he says they agreed 30 shekels per hour some farmers will only be paying 25 or 20 shekels so if they agree 30 shekels which is about eight dollars per hour they're going to pay them 25 shekels, which is much less than that. And these people say, you know what? This is not what we signed for. Okay, the agreement was something else. Let's get back to context. Fred. The president of Malawi did not announce it officially until he received a lot of pressure. It was a sort of a, you know, very quiet deal happening. It's civil society that rose the information to the public saying, why is this happening in opposition party? Why is this happening in such a calm why aren't people being informed about this why are 221 young malawian going to israel to go work as laborers in farms this is not good for 60 million dollars like i said before 60 million dollars is money for one person it's really not money you give a country or one country giving to another country that's yeah no 60 million dollars to get 221 young men to go work is very little money I can say many people saw this coming. When you take young men and you take them to another country, in war, a country at war, this lack of respect that I see very clearly. Why don't they import doctors from Malawi? Or engineers? Or security engineers? I don't know. Architects? Why only farmers? Why can we only get farmers from Africa? Why can't they get doctors? I mean, 
I mean, are Africans only good for farming and handwork? Like labor, why? You know what I mean? If we really value hiring people from other countries, if supposedly, like they say, they're valuing African labor, then why don't they get professionals? Like, you know, engineers, researchers, scientists, and stuff like that. Why only laborers? I mean, it, it smells very much like slavery. I'm just saying. You remember the people in America, the, the black people that were taken there, they were picking up cottons. They, they didn't have them in offices or in a doctor's office, they were in the fields. And now these ones are going to work in the farms in Israel. It sounds very close, very different. I, do you feel me? So now, the big problem here, they say, the farmers are not respecting contractual obligations. The money they agreed upon as per this person is not the money is being paid to the people. That's why the people are not happy with him. And they've decided... About 45 were arrested. They've decided to leave the farms and go into the cities looking for work in industrial complexes, looking for work in other avenues. But their contracts speculate that they cannot get any other employment. They are not allowed to have any other form of employment besides working in the farm, cleaning the shit of the goat and the sheep and cutting the herbs and removing the you know, yeah, so I just say these people are thinking like most Africans do when they go to Europe. Once they're not very happy with one opportunity, they're going looking for different opportunities. Not understanding that this is Israel, this is not Europe, okay? This is, they're not going to let you walk in the street for free, for nothing. You're going to go work in a farm and that's what you're going to do, nothing else. Why aren't the farmers respecting the part of the country? My question is, do you think if they had brought in Scottish people or English people or Dutch people, they wouldn't have not respected the country. I'm just asking a question. What do you think? Do you think if they were Dutch, they would be subjected to the same situation of not being paid the amount of money they were expecting? Now, why are we surprised? When you give people at a very cheap price, making them look like it's such a great opportunity living in Malawi, I'm sorry, many people believe this is not a great opportunity. Only you can make your people respect it. People buy you at the price you sell yourself. If you make it look like it's such a great opportunity with $60 million, we're going to send you 221 young men, then more, about 2,000 people. That was the plan, to send 2,000 young Malawians into a country at war right now to work as laborer, like domestic worker. Let's call it what it is. You're probably going to be washing clothes and cleaning shit from the goat and the sheep. Not doctors. How do you want them to respect you? I mean, if you're coming here and you're feeling like you have a better life here, it's such a good opportunity here, how do you think they're going to respect you? They won't respect you. But then again, I don't blame these young men. These are just, most of them probably ignorant. have never traveled. Most of them coming from very poor background. Most of them looking for opportunity that unfortunately the government is not providing, is not giving them. If it was, they wouldn't have to go to Israel looking for jobs, working as laborers in farms if opportunities were in malawi i'm sorry government need to do better for these young men they don't deserve this now 12 of them have been deported already they've been sent back and more are going to follow i think it's very disrespectful to an old nation to an entirety of a nation you just you, uh, you know we brought you here for labor for whatever task now we're sending you back before you were i mean what kind of a reputation? That, that, that destroyed the reputation of Malawians. The public justification will never be that we did not pay them the money that they asked us. We did not pay them the money as agreed. It's going to be, oh, they ran away from farmers going looking for opportunities. They were actually danger to the public. Let me know how you feel about these fellas. I think I'm very hurt by this because I feel it's very disrespectful to an entire nation. The country of John Chilembwe, great man, once more, who did a lot of things. You never heard of John Chilembwe? I suggest you go do some research about this great man who fought for the freedom of Malawians. A pastor. A pastor fighting occupiers. A pastor fighting colonialists. He asked his people to fight the colonialists. He asked his people to resist the colonialists. John Chilembwe. Today, you will find his face in notes of the Malawian currency. There's a big statute established in London right now in the memory of John Chilembwe. When the British came and the other people came into the country, forcing them to go fight a war against the Germans in Tanzania, John Chilembo said to the people, do not go to Tanzania. That was during World War. He said, you are not going to fight white people fight in Tanzania. That is their fight. It's not yours. Actually, it's not World War. It's European War. Why European War I always called World War? It's European War. Africans were not fighting each other. Why is it war? World War. Let me know how you feel about this, fellas. 
So it's a great pleasure. Once more, YouTube says to us that plenty of you guys watch us, but you not subscribe. Please do subscribe. Please drop a comment so we can push our channel further and we can see each other every day. God bless.